Okay, when you shoot news footage, you really start to appreciate a program like Sony Vegas and what it can do for you because under these sort of shooting conditions, you run into a lot of weird stuff, often to do with light, bad light, not enough light, too much light, and rain and noise. You've got to be able to fix most of these things pretty quickly so that you can cut the video and upload it to the networks, otherwise, it isn't a news story. A quick and easy way to do some of these things. There's one more clip to go into this, and let's drop that in there now. Got a guy here who's going to introduce himself. So we want that, and we'll probably take the rest of it as it is, and I can cut it up after I've put it in there. So back to the beginning again for now. Opening scene's a bit dark. Well, it's fairly easy. In most programs, it's fairly easy. This one, for something like this where it was otherwise clean, we'll just use the levels in the Sony editing suite, in the effects suite, sorry. Pull it back up, just increase our contrast a little bit until we've got it looking okay. A lot of smoke around, a lot of warm incandescent lights and then you've got blue and greens, uh, blue and reds off all of your emergency vehicles. Now we're shooting with a top light, an Anton Bauer top light on the camera which is very warm. So we've got some other issues creeping in here, one of those is a white balance. And the reflectives on these emergency vehicles are always a problem, they're going to throw a long way so sometimes they're just left alone. Other times of course we've got an issue like this. It's close enough to be affected by the Anton Bauer. It's also being affected by reds. So once again back into the effects chooser you've got this only white balance. We'll bring it in. We'll let the color selector grab because we've got whites available. We'll grab a sample. Sony will go a bit too far and you've seen now their blacks have gone to blues. We just pull that back a little bit until we've got an acceptable white. Just remember the white is going to be influenced by the red lights around but we've now got realistic colors referring to trees and whatever else is there. Nice whites. Okay. To save having to go through that again to similar scenes one's not as bad actually but you can grab the effect you've just done to that clip, copy the clip, go back to the next one you want to apply it to and paste event attributes. You've now applied the changes you made to that clip and a quick check to make sure you didn't want to adjust it because you still can. That one turns out to be fine. Now, this guy's a problem. Not him per se, but his colour. Two things wrong with that. Under pressure, I've shot that overexposed. We can see tops of cheekbones are a bit hot. It's digital, there's nothing I can do about that but that Anton Bauer is making him very warm and yellow. We can do something about that. Same deal again, but I'll just do it manually to show you. Back into your event effects, grab your white balance tool again. Sometimes I've had to even do it off the teeth or whites of their eyes, but we do have a white helmet. There we go. Grab that. Sony will go a bit too far again, as it often does, but it gives you a good starting point. Pull that back until we've got true blacks and then watch for skin tones. I don't want him too warm but I want the blacks to be correct. Now over here in the back we've got correct colours happening around our traffic lights and emergency vehicles too. His face is a lot better than it was and we've got white again on the helmet. If we come back too far we start to go blue again so that's about where I'd leave that. Now I'm free just to cut up the rest of the interview grab to see what we do and don't want. Other than that this will then be ready to upload and watching audio levels of course to make sure they don't peak we've got a lot of noise around this guy we've moved him away from the worst source of that being the fire trucks and it was still quite noisy radio mic nice and close does the rest of that for us that's it in a nutshell for that one